Hello and welcome to our branded video content picks of the fortnight. And this week we're talking about a new video from Singapore uh, for Texas Chicken, uh, which is pretty funny. Um, Heineken uh, talks about um, what the new normal will look, will look like in a bar. And Nike, uh, well, actually I can't remember what Nike does. Arthur, what was, what was the Nike video? It was an inspirational video that uh, sport will never stop and you also can't stop us. And it talks about diversity, inclusivity, and the right spirit. Awesome. Awesome. It obviously made an impression on me. The creative execution of it made more of an impression than the, um, than the message, clearly. Um, so first of all, let's, let's look at this Texas chicken, which is one of my favorite pieces of advertising content ever to come out of Singapore. Um, wow. Yeah, that's but a very strong statement. <laughs> I, um, I'm not sure why it works. What, what do you think this works? Okay, well, let me jump in. Uh, first, I'm glad to see that people in Singapore are, f are flying their freak flag, you know, going, going way off the beaten path. Uh, so I appreciate that. But much like the, the Udi spot that we highlighted a couple of weeks ago, this one ultimately, ultimately left me baffled. You know, I'm watching it and just, just wondering what the heck is going on here. <laughs> we should say that the um, basically it's a it's a singer Annette Lee, um, who is singing uh, rather wonderfully comments on the Texas Chicken Facebook page, and that's it. But it is like you say, David. It, it's weird and it's kind of mesmerising. Mm. I think for me personally, uh, this is one of the videos that basically you either love it or hate it, and I hated it. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad that uh, among three of us, we have very three polar opinions. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, David is somewhere in the middle. Uh, Simon, you are clearly a fan and already subscribed and bought all the albums of this singer. And uh, Train of uh, Texas Chicken is already on, on the way to your HDB. But I just don't like this type of videos. I know that they're probably very social friendly. Maybe that's the format that works really well in TikTok or Instagram or something that is a bit awkward, a bit weird, weird, but uh, yeah, like, I don't like this sort of stuff. Okay, it's a creative way to uh, showcase customer testimonials, uh, but it's just not for me. But why? Why don't you like it? I don't know, just like the format, like, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Plus, I have uh, I have um, annoying neighbors who are singing KTV, and that was the instant, instant reminder of that. So that's like a double hatred for me. It's, it's very personal. It's very personal. I think, I think just like the um, salted egg yolk, you know, people either love that or hate it. So maybe they're they're going along with that. And this is like, you know, it's all about taste. But to be honest, it's a good example of um, like what we usually recommend, even our, uh, our our clients, right? It's you can't sit in the middle. Like if you really want to break through all the clutter and all the noise and all the videos that everyone publishes every second, you have to pick a side. You really have to go for something really bold and different. And that will definitely then stand out. Yes, it will probably divide the crowd, but at least if people love it, they will definitely love it. Rather than being just playing safe and do something generic, like no one will basically remember what was it, when was it? What was it about? But at least like, oh yeah, I, I did I did my goal. There, there is a video about us, but like mm -hmm. it doesn't hit any objectives, any brand recalls, any awareness, engagement or whatever it is. So yeah, sometimes you have to go bold and especially I think consumer facing products definitely have to play a bit uh, risky game. Yeah, Anna Lee is a, um, she's one of the creatives um, with uh, SGAG. Um, yeah. It's uh, she's got that um, pedigree of uh, creating um, uh, comic content. Um, it's just interesting you don't like it Arta, as a comic. Well, the tastes are different. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a more local version. So uh, moving on to the next one, which is uh, Heineken. It's a classic Heineken ad. It's beautifully made. It's got their yeah, style um, written yeah, all over it. Yeah. It's a, in, a, in a bar where there's social distancing in place. And I just thought this was a really good way of throwing forward to what life might be like, um, you know, once second and third waves are a bit more under control. Um, Socialising, perhaps 
in early 2021 when we're all waiting for vaccine rollout, that sort of thing. Yeah, I, I, I just really liked the, the way it was able to throw forward, but it wasn't gimmicky. It wasn't, you know, it was a feel good, feel good thing. Yeah, yeah. And I think, uh, Simon, you published it on LinkedIn and I had a chat with one of the subscribers who commented on this video. And I also mentioned that I think Heineken already developed a certain look and feel and certain type of uh, niche humor, light humor that they have for all of their videos. So for me, like I kind of pigeonholed in my head as a funny beer ad guys. So every new funny beer ad that I see, like high chances I will probably associate it with Heineken, which I guess is a good position to be in. And they always consistent with their look and feel and so bringing this uh, green uh, into the overall color palette. And it's more from the production filmmaking perspective that uh, you always wanted to play around with certain colors and similar to audio, colors also uh, make a big impression. So um, Heineken is always consistent so that you maybe you don't remember the video, but you remember that there was something green there. And then that's also another sort of brand, brand recall technique. And I, I think it's incredibly savvy um, as just a way for them to try and preserve their uh, client base, you know, of having bars open, uh, you know, and, pre and present an image of how you can still remain social and friendly, but while staying safe, you know, and I think that they presented a, a pretty realistic view of the best case scenario, you know, where people are all respecting each other, respecting the rules, but still trying to find ways to have some human connection around a beer. Hopefully they'll get back to that and that they'll be, they'll still be um, pubs open, you know, when, when it's time, time for that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was op optimistic in a dark time um, and sort of left you with that heartwarming, heartwarming feeling. So the next video is Nike, which is a very heartwarming video um about sport always being there uh, what i liked about this though um was the the creative execution the split screen um just like i'm looking at a split screen of you guys at the moment on switcher studio um it's just the way that people move from one side to the screen to the other um is is, is amazing and that would have taken a long long time to select all that footage um but the other just that it's sort of the idea behind it is that we're all on one side or other of a screen at the moment, but that doesn't change our sort of our, our reality, our, our humanity, I guess. That's actually interestingly, that's another video that I had a chat on LinkedIn with some of my friends uh, about this execution that it was so seamless how they matched footages of some sports players from another uh, athlete. And that was like seamless basketball moving into football or whatever it is. Um, but I think yeah, it also matches in terms of like kind of messaging and conceptually and mood wise on one side, it's again, like optimistic and heartwarming and giving hope, uh, light of hope, uh, for the future at the same time, hitting all the recent, um, kind of like social issues and agenda about inclusivity, uh, gender equality, et cetera, et cetera. So I guess it's a very smart and clever package. Yeah. yeah total winner. It was, uh, if there was an award ceremony, I'm sure it'll be up there. Yeah. Yeah. The, the execution's flawless. And, you know, I wonder if they were able to use AI in any way to, to narrow down the, the motion matching, you know, of the, of the shots, or if they actually just did have editors scroll through hours and hours of footage and, and categorizing them by, by what's happening. I'd like to know how many pre-production hours were put into that spot. Oh yeah. It would have, uh, would have been a lot. I mean, I'm sure that AI could probably do that um, mm -hmm. if you trained it the right way. Yeah. But the list, the list of people involved in the credits is long. So yeah, there were a lot of people managing other people, managing clients, managing other people, managing time. <laughs> oh, and that's what, that's what it takes to come up with a great product. Yep. Thank you very much. Uh, interesting selection uh, this fortnight. Um, and thank you for watching this Click to Views best branded video content picks of the fortnight. And if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button or hit the like button. The algorithm loves it. And if you want to be notified about our next video, hit the little bell button.